This is U.S. freestyle Olympic aerialist Matt Chinaki, back in 2001, breaking a world record by performing a quadruple twisting, quadruple backflip. Today you'll find Chinaki doing something completely different here at UT Knoxville in the Department of Earth and Planetary Sciences. Um, I work on two uh, planetary missions with the Mars Exploration Rover and the Mars Odyssey mission, which is a satellite that's in orbit around Mars. Um, so what I, what I do several times uh, throughout the year is provide mission support by downloading the latest images from Mars and then process the data, give an evaluation, and then put together the, the images together for the engineering team and the science team. Chinaki also uses data gathered from Mars for his own research that describes how the planet's surface is changing over time. One of the big drivers for Mars science is the history of water and that planet. And I think that's something that's very intriguing. We see evidence from multiple uh, locations and lines of evidence that it had a very uh, long and wet history. Um, but there's information that contradicts that. So it's, it's very interesting trying to uh, weigh these different pieces of evidence to try to figure out just how warm and how wet was it and when was it uh, under those conditions that might be more like we would see on Earth. When he's not analyzing images from Mars, Chinaki trains at UT's exercise facilities. He tries to stay mentally and physically prepared for the one time every summer when he travels to Utah to perform his aerial stunts. Ten years after he set the world record, still, no one has broken it. Whether he's flying through the air or helping direct the movement of rovers millions of miles away, Chinaki has always followed his passion. They're both extremely obscure things, I realize, but uh, they're obviously both passions of mine. I'm able to jump. That's a fantastic uh, getaway from um, working at a computer terminal and being able to uh, do my planetary Angle research pack, and uh, so to be part of those missions right, um, has been a real uh, a dream of mine for quite a while. Then. 